It is time now for a look at the weather. Meteorologist James Gilbert joins us now. James, another gorgeous autumn day, but what a change in temperature. Hey, Maureen, yes, I have my voice back, and uh, yeah, definitely a lot cooler uh, for us today than we were yesterday. Let's take a look at the work week. Kind of busy weather-wise, lots going on. Uh, work week ahead, minor impacts just about every day except Wednesday. Uh, nothing major, but noticeable weather pattern changes. Tomorrow we'll have some rain showers late in the day. Those trickle into Tuesday. A little breeze in there as well. Then a pretty big storm system on Thursday that should knock temperatures down significantly into next weekend. But hey, that sun really came out nicely this afternoon and evening. There's uh, the sign of the cold air. We're on 20 degrees colder than we were yesterday. Next 24 hours, we'll drop a couple of degrees into the upper 40s and then warm back up into the uh, 50s. I do think we squeak into the lower 60s with a bit of a wind shift out of the southwest, uh, but um, the rain showers should hold. I expect them to really arrive by later in the day. It's kind of a combination between we've got a frontal system moving through as well as some remnants of Delta that are to our south. Bus stop forecast for us a little bit breezy in the morning, 50s. Rain nearby by that 2 to 3 o'clock range, but I think it's really going to be 4 to 8 p.m. when we see the rain showers. All right, I mentioned the two systems that we've got coming our way. Imagine it like a hamburger. The top of the part is the cold front, the bottom is Delta. In between, you've got wind. That's exactly what's going to happen. So you'll see the moisture come up through Pennsylvania. For the bottom part, the top part, the cold front, that's going to sweep through Michigan. It's going to squeeze together, give us some wind and rain, and then it's going to move right along into the northeast as we get into Wednesday, and skies should clear out. I think I made this graphic when I was a little bit hungry for lunch. Uh, let's talk a little bit more exactly when we're going to expect the rain. No issues tomorrow, maybe a bit of fog. You see the rain, though, to our south. That's Delta. That's going to push slowly but surely northward. There's this uh, Monday evening commute. Tomorrow's commute, maybe a couple of rain showers there. Uh, the rain dissipates a bit, and then we get the actual frontal boundary to move through Tuesday morning. So kind of two rounds there, and then we should quiet down as we get into Wednesday. News 8, eight-day forecast. Uh, quiet Wednesday. This is going to be interesting here. Thursday and into Friday. Pretty significant storm system there that will really have an impact. Let's just cut this eight-day forecasts in half. The one side you've got 60s, the other side you've got 40s, 50s, maybe even uh, overnight lows in the 30s. Uh, I've got lake effect in there. I think we've got some significant changes as we get into next weekend, Marie. Well, not unexpected. Thank you, James. Yep. And that's News 8 at 6 Web Edition. We'll see you right back here for News 8 at 11. Have a great evening, everyone.